Hello and welcome to Becoming Home. I've been teasing this episode in my previous videos and I'm excited to finally share it with you guys today. As I mentioned in my 5 things to make your life better video, organization systems can help save you time and ensure that your home stays tidier for longer. I've been using this system for about a month now and it's working. It's easy to get to the things I use on a regular basis, my makeup drawer stays neat and everything in the cabinets has its own home. So enough chit chat, let me show you what I did. First things first, this is what my bathroom looked like before I put the system in place. My makeup drawer was a jumble that I had to dig through every morning. The drawer below that was a complete mess of medicine boxes, packets, cotton swabs, nail polish and various other odds and ends. The cabinets were disorganized with items on top of each other and without really utilizing any of the vertical space. The countertop was not really messy, but it was dirty with makeup dust and hair coating the surface. Yuck. Now it didn't start this way. It started with everything placed neatly inside the drawers and cabinets. But in order to keep your home tidy, you need a system that stays neat even when you take items in and out of it. Every item needs a definite home so that once you use something, it can only go back in one spot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, calls for a target run. Yes, it was a pricey haul, but I consider it a worthwhile investment for the time and effort it saves me in the long run. First, I got these clear acrylic containers that I found in the kitchen section. Think outside the box. The storage solution you need will not always be in the department you expect. I got two wide containers and two narrow. Next, I got a whole box of these small, quilted crystal mason jars. This soap dispenser is not a storage solution, obviously, but I couldn't pass up the blue and that pattern. Plus, this will make my countertop look a little more polished. Another item I got to help keep my countertop tidy was the ceramic tray. This helps keep everything on the countertop in one place instead of spread out everywhere. I got one for myself and one for my husband. The last thing I got was this wooden makeup organizer. But I'm not going to use it like that because it's not a very efficient use of space for my drawers. A couple more things I got that are not pictured are a large white serving bowl, some metal shelf risers and some larger jars with wooden lids. So the first step is to take everything out of the cabinets and drawers and sort them into piles of like items. Anything that's in packaging that frustrates you, like band-aid boxes and cough drop packets, get rid of the packaging and put it in a jar. I used to think the people who displayed q-tips in a jar were doing it just to be trendy and pretty, but when I found at least 10 q-tips scattered around my drawer, I realized that it was efficient and useful too. There will be some items that you'll want to keep the packaging, like medicine, that often has directions, warnings, and dosage amounts written on the outside. Also, throw away anything that you don't use anymore, like old product or brushes, hair bands that have lost their elasticity, childish clips that you'll never ever wear again, and dirty cotton balls that fell out of the packet and just sit at the bottom of the drawer collecting dust. I have trouble throwing out makeup, even if I never use it. But I had a stern talking to with myself, because the more you can declutter your drawer, the tidier it will stay. Once you've thrown away your trash, unwanted items, and sorted your belongings into piles, you'll probably have a bathroom that looks a little like this. Organized chaos. But you have a clean slate and you can build your system from there. Evaluate the items you have, what you use on a regular basis, what you use occasionally. Think about how your containers will best fit in your cabinets and drawers and what will go in each container. Utilize items that you already have, like this acrylic makeup organizer I've had since college. Now you can start putting everything back. Don't miss the opportunity to wipe down the inside and get the spaces nice and clean. I'm using a metal shelf riser under each sink. This allows me to utilize some vertical space. Because I'm putting it in the back, I can store things I don't use much underneath it, like unopened boxes of contacts, an old set of curtain rings, and my bulk packet of cotton balls. I have a jar of these that I use on a regular basis, and whenever the jar gets empty, I can refill it. On the other side, I'm storing all of my excess toiletry items. These are shampoo and body wash bottles that I can pull out for guests, and then replacement bottles of shaving cream, hair product, and contact solution that we use on a regular basis. On top of the riser, I have dog shampoo, some bubble bath and hair products, and then sunscreen lotion and tanning oil, because man, it's hot in Texas. In the front, I have refills of hand soap and all my little mason jars. I used a mason jar without a lid for replacement razors, and it looks so much better than just having the packet of razors sitting there. 
then two boxes of open contacts for easy access and a backup box of toothpaste. You always want to have backups of products you don't want to run out of, like toothpaste, soap and toilet paper. Under this riser I have bar soap that I don't use regularly but want on hand, tissue paper packets, jewelry cleaner, an extra box of tampons, some glasses cases and my box of contacts. In the very back I have our travel toiletry bags and an extra packet of makeup remover wipes. On the riser I have some bottles of perfume body spray, baby powder, backup antiperspirant, avocado facial masks, witch hazel and hairspray. In the front I have a jar of bigger band-aids and elastic bandages and my jar of cotton balls. Then I have my box of hair accessories and a big white bowl that neatly contains my bathroom cleaner and a microfiber cloth. Having this bowl easily accessible has made a world of difference in keeping my countertop clean. It's so easy in the morning to pull that out after I finish my hair and makeup and wipe off the countertop. No more yucky hair and makeup dust. Next we have the bottom drawer. This is where I put those acrylic containers to good use. The first two hold all my boxes and bottles of medicine. Mucinex, Tums, Ibuprofen, Benadryl and Neosporin to name a couple. I also have some essential oils and a couple more odds and ends that fit. In the narrow container I put all my travel size toiletries and samples. Usually I would have these buried at the back of my cabinet because they were so messy. But now they're contained and I can actually try out some of the samples. I have all my nail polish colors and remover in the second narrow container. That little bag holds my nail clippers, nail file, tweezers, etc. And the box holds tampons and panty liners. I like this solution because it's more demure and discreet than having your tampon box on full display. The top drawer holds all my makeup supplies and brushes. The long wooden box from the organizer kit fit perfectly in the middle section of the acrylic organizer that I already had. It holds all my long eyeshadow palettes. Storing these vertically makes them easy to identify and since they're not stacked on top of each other, it's easy to pull out the one that I need and then put it back. The other compartments in the acrylic organizer are perfect for my lip products, smaller eyeshadow palettes and my blushes. One box at the back holds my foundation, primer, setting spray, mascara and pencils. The other holds my hairbrushes and combs as well as some makeup brushes that didn't come in the brush kit that I have. My brush kit fits nicely in the gap for easy access on a daily basis and my mirror slides down the side where it doesn't get in the way or cover products that I need to see. One great thing about the wooden box is that the side is magnetic so I can easily grab a hairpin when I need one. I use the ceramic trays to keep the countertop tidy. The rule is that everything on the counter has to fit on the tray, otherwise you need to find another home for it or switch something else out. This really helps keep the countertop from being cluttered. I have one on my side for all my daily products and JT has one on his side. The wooden tray from the makeup organizer proved to be a great way to display our hand soap, toothbrushes and a candle. Something about having everything grouped together on a tray just makes it look a little more polished, classy and tidy. Another benefit to having everything on a tray is that it makes it so much easier to clean. I just pick up the entire tray and I'm able to wipe under and around it without having to move a dozen different bottles first. And that's it. Having this system in place has been so worth it. Like I said, I've been using it for over a month and it works. Because everything has a home, it doesn't get cluttered and messy, but stays as neat as the day I implemented it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's inspired you to implement your own bathroom organization systems. When you find something that works for you, the time and effort you save in the long run is well worth the initial investment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit the bell to be notified when I post new content. Check out my crafting playlist here and watch my DIY videos by clicking here. Thanks to everybody out there watching and cheers for now.